Just when you think you may have seen the most ridiculous video that pollutes the social media, and I can tell you I've seen a lot that would buy for that honor, another competitor emerges. This time it is a simple test for Morgellons disease, sometimes pronounced Morgellons, and it uses cranberry juice. Well, Morgellons is a rare but fascinating condition, although of course people who suffer from it don't look on it as fascinating. It is characterized by a sensation of something crawling under the skin. Some patients blame it on multicolored filaments resembling tiny hairs that they say are embedded in their skin and sometimes project from it. Others believe that some sort of living organism has infected their skin. Morgellons patients often present with skin lesions, and uh, they say that these are caused by whatever has invaded their skin, but uh, some doctors think that they're self-inflicted, the result of efforts to remove the fiber or whatever organism uh, by scratching. Microscopic examination often does indeed show multicolored fibers, and uh, some claim that these come from clothing, others raise the possibility of some sort of protein filament produced by infecting organism. There's an ongoing and vigorous debate between the factions that claim Morgellons is a delusional disease and those that claim it has a physical cause. Most researchers who have studied the problem believe it to be delusional, but some suggest that bacteria in the spirochete family may be involved. The videos that circulate claim Morgellons can be diagnosed by a simple test using pure unsweetened cranberry juice. Just swish the juice around in your mouth, spit it out onto a white plate, and then note the floating filaments, which supposedly are the fibers that cause Morgellons disease. Then a little rubbing alcohol is added and the particles begin to move around. I'm not sure what that is supposed to demonstrate. Maybe that these particles are actually some sort of living species that have been stirred into action by the alcohol. Curiously, the people who perform this test on the videos do not claim to be suffering from Morgellons disease, so it's difficult to see why this experiment is being promoted as a test for the condition. Everyone who tries it will see the floating particles, and for good reason. What we are seeing is a reaction between proteins in saliva and tannins, which are a class of water-soluble polyphenols found in many fruits, including cranberry juice. There actually have been a number of studies examining the reaction between polyphenols and salivary proteins because it is thought to play a role in the perception of astringency. The salivary proteins are adsorbed onto surfaces of the mouth and offer protection against damage. On exposure to polyphenols, they form insoluble aggregates, meaning the protective layer is removed, and this is then sensed as astringency because compounds in the juice then irritate the tissues and can cause the mouth to pucker. It makes sense that swishing cranberry juice will cause these aggregates to form and lead to their precipitation. When rubbing alcohol is added, it slowly spreads through the saliva with which it is miscible. It is this movement of the alcohol through the saliva that causes the motion of the particles. Some of the videos have yet another spin on this phenomenon. The floating particles are some sort of nanorobots that are put into the environment to act as a conduit for frequencies transmitted into the air from towers that are not really cell phone towers. I don't know what they are. I guess the nanorobots are supposed to exert some sort of mind control. Lunacy seems to have no boundaries. That for today is our Cup of Joe.